Hi everyone, it's Mary from Mary Cat Stitches and today is May 10th, 2024 and this is episode 6 in 2024 and I want to welcome everybody to my channel, all my new subscribers, my current existing subscribers, I appreciate you and if you're passing through, I hope you like what you see in my cross stitching. And as you will consider liking and subscribing and commenting, that would be amazing. So, I wanted to touch base because my son's coming in and I do have quite a bit of things to show. My stitching has been in a slump, not by choice, just I've had a lot of things going on, but I have a substantial amount to show you and I'm really excited. So I got fully finishes, I got finishes, Two new starts, and I'm going to show you my pandemic piece. And then I'm going to hopefully tell you some plans and what I'm hoping. And then we can meet up at the end of the month. So, with that being said, the first thing that I completed was one of the ornaments for my mother. This is um, Tidings of Comfort and Joy. And it was from Tiny Modernist, not Tiny Modernist, it was from My Big Toe Design, sorry. I have other things to show you, that's Tiny Modernist. And yeah, it turned out really cute. So I whip stitched it, that's not always the, the easiest thing to do, but I did it, the sandwich it. And I had this hanger that I got off of a gift at Christmas. And I like the color and I thought it'd be perfect. And I think it is. And just some plain fabric on the back. And I do things kind of simple. But that's okay. Now the next couple things I wanted to show you are things that I framed. Are they perfect? No. But I was watching somebody and I don't remember who it was. And they framed their pieces like this. And... I thought it was great because when I use the acid-free foam board, a lot of times it's so slippery and I mean, I've spent hours pinning and lacing and doing all the things and everything that you could think of and it's still not straight. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. I just wasted a whole day and I just get bummed and I just stick it on closet and say, forget it. But she did it where you don't use the foam cord and you just use the back of the frame. And, you know, my stuff is not going to last for hundreds of years. And if it does like this, that's great. But I'm happy with it. I'm going to be proud of it on my wall. And to me, that is the most important thing. And it's halfway straight and I'm proud of that as well. So the first thing that I wanted to show you was Patriot House and this is from Calico Confectionery. It's something that I bought as a PDF on Etsy. One of my favorite places in the world. And I just love how it turned out. Now this is a frame. Now all the frames I'm going to show you is what I got from Michaels. This was actually in a three pack and I got the black and the white pack. And I believe it's an 8 by 8 Let's see this is how she said to do it so basically I do it the same way as the foam core but I I eliminate I omit the foam core and just use the back it worked for me because otherwise this would be a train wreck as it is I had to dismantle this other piece that I did last year if you, if you don't remember it was an autumn piece that I did and it was not straight so I gotta figure out how I want to fully finish it I had to really really make some stuff happen there because I glued it and I was doing all kinds of craziness and so yeah I'll show you that hopefully I can get to that at the end of the month but I gotta figure out what I gotta buy a frame that's big and make some magic happen if you know what I'm saying but the next thing I wanted to show you that I framed, and I framed everything the same way, was my M sampler. This was a challenge that my friend Mira 
she is a Facebook friend and she got the idea from a mutual friend named Lynn to get some motifs and since both of our names start with the letter M she thought it was fun to encourage each other and I really enjoyed it it was free patterns it was patterns for magazines charts you know you name it you got it and then motifs that kind of reflected myself and my family so I think it looks so so good in the frame and I'm really happy with it and it was between the black frame and a brown frame and I didn't care for it in the brown frame I I felt like it really did more justice in the black frame and even my husband liked it and he's a critic but he usually likes everything I do luckily and the last fully finished piece that I want to show you is something that I loved doing I finished this this earlier this year as well it is from KB studio creations Karen um, I love this chart it's the snowflake sampler that was in the just cross stitch February 2021 issue as you can tell I do a lot from that that magazine I've been a subscriber of just cross stitch for well over a decade and I and I like the patterns in there and I've got to get introduced to a lot of really wonderful designers so yes you'll see a lot of magazine from there but this is it and it's glory and it's gorgeous and I am just so it just makes me smile every time I see it and this is done on some 14 count Ada that I dyed she used a similar color and an 18 count and I did it with the metallic, the white diamond, DMC. And it was worth, it was worth everything. It, in person, it sparkles and glitters and it's just, it's gorgeous. So thank you, Karen, for the wonderful pattern. So typically, not excluding this month naturally because it's kind of a weird month, I usually spend the first three weeks of the month really gusto in all my challenges. I try to make it like around 200 stitches so I can fulfill each challenge. Then, towards the end of the month, if there's anything that I feel that is really close to a finish, I'll try to finish it or I'll just get a focus piece for that for that week and and try to work on it as much as possible I'm so excited that I was able to finish two pieces so the first one I was dragging my feet for a couple of months I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I'm getting older and i was struggling with the count because it was 28 count monaco but when you dye it it shrinks and when i measured it it's more of a 30 count and i'm usually really good but i think because it's 100 percent cotton it's just a tight it, it it's tighter so it's harder to get through but it was worth it and and I'm not going to say I'm not going to use Monaco because I got another one, but I think I'm going to use it just in its natural state and not dye it and just do that with the linen and some of the other types of fabric. But I like it because it's thick. So, I mean, there is perks to everything. And this is just your taste change as you get older. It affects your eyesight and, you know, your eyesight has a lot to do with it. I'm just saying you're, just everything changes and I'm happy with it and it is a lot more than what you think it is with these houses 
but she's so generous. And this is my Patriot House Winter Salt Box from Melissa at Pinker and Pumpkin. And I just want to thank her for her beautiful charts, her generosity, and her creative spirit. And I encourage everybody. She just has so many cute patterns. And um, this won't be the last house. But, uh, but yeah, I'm really proud of this. So, this is a perfect thing to do when you have just floss. You know, a lot of times I try to match up a project that I have these random floss and I don't want to throw it away. And this was a this was the case with this one. I was able to just um, give something close to what she chose. So I'm really not sure how I'm going to finish that. I know she does hers in pillows, which is really pretty. I just don't have a sewing machine right now. So it's either going to go in my bag of shame or I'll frame it. So it's up in the air right now because I have a couple other projects I want to get to. But thank you again. And um, I know that uh, Michelle from, I can't remember her channel, and, I, and she pops in all the time, but, but she does... She she stitches them as well, and hers is really pretty. She has a real a lot of really cute, cute things. I'll have to put her channel below. I can't remember off the top of my head, but her name's Melissa, and she does a lot of creative things, and I enjoy watching her. Oh, my romantic tangle! That's it, Michelle from Romantic Tangle. I knew it popped in my mind. Okay, so the other finish I did was Current Mood by Stitchy Fish Designs. And this was in the Spring 2024 issue. And eventually I'll get a frame for it. And this was such an enjoyable stitch. And I loved how I could just another stash buster when it came to the floss. And even though I did it on 14 count Ada, I just wanted to tell anybody that is interested in doing this pattern at some point. That even if you do it on Ada, it is possible to do the quarter stitches that is required for the um, umbrella and some of, some of her hair and things. I just suggest a really sharp needle and that way you can pierce through the wove to create those stitches, but I love it. I'm really happy with it. Okay, moving forward is some of the things that I'm working on. I'm not quite done with working on my pandemic. My goal was 600 stitches this month. I felt kind of bad. I know we shouldn't, but I did because I had the intentions on stitching on it for 200 stitches last month. And I really wasn't motivated. And I feel like you can't really force yourself on a project. I mean, it's supposed to be fun. I mean, if you're on a tying thing and it's for a gift or it's something like that, then yes, Christmas gift or what have you. But I didn't have anything like that. And... It just wasn't calling to me, even though I, I had it on my list to do. So I said, this month, I want to get 600 stitches. I've done about 300, and it doesn't even seem like that much, but I counted it, and it's accurate. So, I'm so, I apologize right now. It's so awkward to hold it because this is the largest project I've ever done. But here we go. So, I did this into this. And that was actually 200 stitches, believe it or not. And then I came over here and I started on the stag. I believe that's a stag. And he's almost done. And that's going to be 200 stitches. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I only have 200 stitches to go. 
And so that's why I'm like, I feel really good about completing it. And I'm just going to work my way down this way. So I'm doing a combination of page 9 and 8. So I'm just going to take it. I got a little bit of, I, basically like I got a portion of 7. I got a portion of 9. And I've got 8 that I need to do. And so I'm just going to take it like this and just, and just do it like that, you know. And bring it all the way down and I think that's that's gonna be the best thing for me to do but here it is and it's this once that part is done this is gonna be halfway and yeah I'm really proud of it so this is done on 18 count Ada that I dyed red. I'm doing the black and diamond metallic because I'm a glut for punishment. And the rest is done with sulky. A total of three colors of the sulky. Okay. The next thing I did was do a new start. This was something that I chose to do. And this is only one day's worth of work. And it is Tiny Modernist. It is Gather Here Sign. It is, a, it is from the Patreon. It was the first one she offered when she decided to do a Patreon page. And it's only $7. You also get 10% off of her website, which is amazing. And eventually this is going to be for the public. She wait. She said she's going to wait a year before she releases it. And I love the colors. I, love, I mean, that's... I like her designs a lot. And I'm really glad that I'm a Patreon member because that way it motivates me to do more. But this is just on some random 28 count linen. And there you go. That's the gray right now. I think that's $37.99, which is probably one of my most favorite grays. I just really love that color. And I did a little bit of orange. So hopefully I can pull that out and get a little more love with that. And last but not least, the other project that I worked on was an, another new start. This was for May the 4th, the 4th Be With You, the Star Wars pun. Um, it was through the Stitching Shack, a stitching show, uh, a, sorry, a stitching social. Sorry, I get a lot of, a lisp. Sorry about that. I know it's off-putting, but. So I did this for my son. I did 400 stitches. It was a new start. It's from Valentine Cross Stitch, and they no longer. It was an Etsy pattern. They no longer design. But this is super cute, and I'm really enjoying this. To be honest with you, I really, really am. This is on some 28 count Monaco, and see, I'm cool. When it's just not dyed. So I'm just going to have to use it when I don't want to use colored, you know, when I don't want to hand dye fabric. This is it. So, I mean, that was one day's worth of work. So I don't know how I'm going to proceed with this. I don't know if I'm going to. I have to write it down on my calendar. Maybe I'll work on this every 4th. You know, like 4th and 5th. Or a bit. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. So, let's see. I want to start on the ornament for my mother because I don't want to put that off. So, i got to gather up my supplies. 
So hopefully I'll have that completed and to show you next time. I want to go ahead and make sure that I have the 600 stitches completed for Pandemic. And I do have in my hoop, because I, I did find that having the hoop is helping me. So I don't stitch exclusively in hand anymore. I use a hoop in my hand. And that is my Colorful Autumn by Mr. Stitch and Mrs. Needle. That was the stitch along from last year. And I'm going to be concentrating on that as well this week, this weekend. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab a project and see what I could do as far as that goes. Towards the end of the month, my husband will be taking my son back. And that will give me a couple of days where I can play catch up some stitching hopefully fully finish some ornaments and have some things to show you so i hope to meet back up in about three weeks with tons of fun stuff to show but i just want to wish everybody whoever celebrates mother's day the important whether it's an aunt a grandmother your mother anybody that's in your life i hope you have in america this is Mother's Day weekend. I hope it's super special whether you're celebrating it or you're going to celebrate somebody in your life. And that you keep stitching and have a great, great couple weeks. Take care and I will chat with you soon. Bye now.